Hi everyone, just a quick live today. I'm going to have a quick look through a little box of um, lures that I've got from Can Fishing Lures. The box didn't actually obviously come from them, but the, uh, all the different packets did. Um, I've had a quick look through these in the past, but I've not really gone into any detail on them. I've not used any of them yet. Um, I just a lie, I've used one of them um, that I have came in a free packet that my son had. Um, I'm trying to go through the, some of the different options that they've got here that I ordered. Um, I'm not going to get all the names right, so you have to look on their website, which I've linked down um, in the description below. So I'll go through packet by packet. So first of all, they've got these little, um, I think they're called sandworm. I've got them in like a, like a white um, flex sort of color with all different bits in them. These obviously uh, a nice little imitation of sort of isomane gold pen sort of worm lures. Uh, really, really good for LRF. I'm really interested to try and see if I can tempt the same species that I can by isomane with these. These will obviously last a lot longer being a real soft plastic rather than the biodegradable sort of types that we get from um, Maracu and Gulp. So quite interested to use those. Got these little tadpole lures, tad, tadpole lures uh, nice little skinny tail, really short, ideal to use on a little tiny jig head or on a little split shot rig. Uh, it'd be really, really fun to try and use some of these. Um, I'm going to, again, probably use these at night time for um, scan and herring and stuff like that in the autumn. Really nice looking little lure. Uh, this is one of my favourite sort of looking things. So this is a nice little um, ball tail. I might get one out so you can have a closer look. So yeah, so we've got a real nice sort of um, rib section at the front there. And a ball tail at the back. Uh, again, this will sort of give loads of action. So really good for you, sort of pollock, scad, herring, mackerel, anything sort of pelagic. And um, be really interesting to try and use these as well for a small flounder and stuff like that. When I have a go at those in the summer. A few different colours of the little um. Uh, God, my English is fair. Why is all stuff when I'm on live? Um, little tadpoles. So I've got them in all different colours. Sandworm again in pink and in white. Uh, these were quite interesting so they do a whole different bunch of longer worms and again they've got the sort of rib bit at the front which is quite nice it's a nice sort of rib section with a nice really long tail be really interesting again using these for flat fish uh, again like the, i'm going to call these little sperm actually they're called like a bit of sperm quite funny but um yeah you can use these for just about anything really um but i think again most of these lures seem to be really good for sort of jig heads which is something like, like what well, a lot of the fishing that i do so really keen to get on these Got them in a few different colours. Got the ribbed ones again and the white with the black flick. If the colours are wrong, I apologise, I am colourblind. A really cool sort of uh, bright luminous green colour. And then these are quite interesting. They're a really cool looking paddle tail. Uh, I don't know if they are a copy of another um, sort of shape, but yeah, a really nice paddle tail. Nice sort of thick body at the front. Really, really um, wiggly tail. Um, they're very similar to um, what they call the Key Tech Easy Shiners, I suppose. So they'd be really keen to see how these do for the for the small school bus and stuff like that. Again, I'm sure they'll hammer Pollock. Like, as you can see, I seem to have gone for the pink on most of these colours, or pink and white, sorry. Got a nice sort of silvery colour there. Um, the silver, yeah, like silver with fleck in it. And then more of the little um, whitey sort of coloured um, tadpoles. That silvery colour again in the um, ball tails with the ribbed heads. And then I've got a few packets here which are mixed, which um, actually came as a prize for my son during uh, one well, of the prizes at a giveaway uh, back at the Big Lurf comp last summer. And that's a section of the ribbed tails. And then these really, really nice little fat paddle tails. Um, again, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're really, really short. We've got a nice little rib section with a really, really flimsy paddle tail back. And um, we've actually used these quite well for perching stuff already. Uh, another small packet, a few different colours of those. Getting towards the end. Oh, they've got, uh, is that him? Is that something else? That might be something else. Um, that's a mixture of something else as well. So, and then the last one I ordered, these are, I think they're from like the discard bin, but they're really cool looking. I thought they'd be really good for RAS, so nice sort of um, Senko sort of type thing, but with a really skimmy paddle, well, a really skimmy pintail on the back. So I'm really keen to sort of try those out for RAS. Uh, that is the box, so um, I'll just quickly just jump on the Can Fish and Lures website, so which is canfishandlures.com, uh, so I can give some of those names. So they are, the little tadpole ones are called the tadpoles, the sandworm are called the sandworm. The long worms with the wormy head are called worms, funny enough. Um, the bull tails are called bull tails, I've actually done quite well here. The paddle tails are just called paddle tails, they're the 50 millimeter ones, the long ones. Uh, the little tiny um, paddle tails, have they got them on here? Are called micro paddle tails. And then I can't actually see the sort of the rassy one at the end. 
They're called Bargain Bucket Remelt Stinger Neds. So that was the um, the rasty ones I was saying about. So they're from the Bargain Bucket. So they are one pound fifty for pack of five, which is an absolute bargain. Uh, one thing I will say is all of these prices were ridiculously good. So it is worth checking out the website and um, having a play. So I'm really keen this summer to sort of come away from the scented lures as much as possible and see if I can catch the same species I was catching all the different scented lures last year. Um, obviously on all of these lures. So um, feel free to drop in the comments. Let us know um, what you think of all these, what you'd like to use them for, uh, any tips and trips if you've already been using can fishing lures. Um, shout out to Callum Ness uh, over on Facebook if you um, obviously want to comment up to him directly about the lures. Really good looking stuff. I'm going to jump off because my dinner is going to be ready any minute now. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.